the secrets secrets to making gold well step one get gold doors like this that's the first secret our powders of stage is gonna be big songs so, um um i, I mean <clears throat> the thing is people are already playing the powder of sage market pretty heavily so and tripods will be a big thing yeah that's a incredibly volatile market already like literally in a single day they'll go from 110 to 190 you can literally play the the day swings and make 50 percent return on those if that's what you want to move uh what i do think is going to be the biggest with the patch which i don't actually have pinned on this character is Kaldar fusion materials and life leap stones so they're all going to get 960 power passes it takes like almost 300 Kaldar fusion material to go from 960 to 1100 and uh so that i think that'll probably get a 50 60 percent rise life leap stones will probably go up a little bit as well as far as tier three stuff, I think I think as a whole, the upgrade mats are going to see a spike in value. But I also think the economy is going to go up in value too. So the value gain that the honing mats get is probably going to be relative to the economic upswing. But there is some pretty surefire ways to make some money. So one of the easiest ways to make some money is class engravings. So with the new patch coming out, crisscross, thank you for the follow. Uh, the new patch coming out, uh, if you do all your quests to stock up on your class engraving boxes, the greens, the blues, I'm, I'm not sure how many purples you can get, but you stock up on those, make sure they're tradable right after the patch comes out. And I can't stress that enough. Literally, the green engraving recipes might be 600 a piece in the first half hour of the server going up. Literally eight hours later, they're going to be like 50, 80 gold each. So you got to be early on that. They're going to start really high and they're just going to steady drop. You want to be online as quick as possible after the server going up. So the class engravings, that's one thing. And you could do that on all your ults. Your, your rifts, your chaos legions you run, do not spend your rift shards. Save your rift shards for South Vern um, to have a chance of getting relic maps. Relic accessories. So there's going to be multiple sources of relic accessories. Who knows where? They might come from Guardian Raids. They might come from Chaos Dungeons. They'll probably come from Abyssals. Uh, also, you're going to want to check the new Unas. Could give you Relic Ability Stones. You're going to want to go to the Pado and the Fermata. The Ability Stone Gamblers on the ships are most likely going to have a Tier 3 Relic Ability Stone. If you buy those like early... And you hit something pretty good it's gonna sell for a huge premium if you're early on that relic accessories um, are probably gonna be 25 uh, 25 faons to purchase they're not gonna be cheap but you're gonna see some huge opportunities with those early on so if you have the money to spend the money to snipe people are gonna be making mistakes when there's no relics on the market and somebody looks up you know grudge hitmaster and they see oh as a legendary 50% it's worth 600 gold so I'm going to charge you know 2500 for my relic that has plus five not realizing the plus five is going to be a huge premium and they would have been able to sell that for over 50k easily so there's going to be some big opportunities like that of people underpricing stuff until the market has stability like if somebody can go look up what something is worth and they see, oh, plus five grudge with a decent ability with it is starts at 45K, which that'll drop rapidly, by the way. I say it'll start at 40, 50K. Literally 10 hours later, it'll probably be 15, 20K. But if you're early on it, there's going to be really big money in it. So flipping the relic accessories, farming the relic accessories, running your abyssals, your chaos, your guardians as quick as possible after the server goes up, maybe getting some lucky drops. There will be new Unas. So there will be Unas tasks for South Vern. Maybe if there's new islands, those can give you relic accessories. Um, and then the other big one, Adventure Tome items. The other big one, if you don't have a lot of money to flip with, you're not going to spend real money, and you want to make some money, the best bet you have on making money is getting to South Vern, and you literally just farm Adventure Tome items and sell them right away. 
they are going to be a huge premium early on. I'm talking, you might like a blue, a blue freaking adventure tome item from South Vern will sell for like four, five, six hundred in the first hour or two, or maybe beyond of the launch day. And then they're going to just keep dropping, obviously. The next day, that same thing you sold for four or five hundred is going to be 30 gold. So you want to you want to really hit it hard on the adventure. Like that's the easiest money maker if you don't have money to start with and you don't put money in the game and you want to take advantage of the patch. Your biggest move is farming adventure tome items in South Vern. Uh, the earlier you are, the more you're going to make. And then another big one, which I did for the last patch, is for the Omen skin. I bought I, I put 50 bucks on. Now this obviously takes real money. I put 50 bucks on. I bought an Omen skin package. Thought for myself, right? I look it up and I'm like, what the hell? The freaking chest is 50K. The weapon's 25K and the horse is 25K. And so I posted it for sale and it's sold. I made 100,000 gold on my first sale. And the price just kept getting undercut. And I posted the next one and I sold the next set for 45K. Just, just the chest and the weapon. And then I kept buying weapon boxes and I sold those for 10 to 14 K each. I made about 180,000 gold off of $50. So if you see the fashion in the mounts, if the fashion and the mounts are white gem exclusive, Royal gem exclusive, that is going to be big money. If you can, if you can manage to get them and sell them in the first like half hour of the server going up first hour, maybe that is going to be big money. If you can buy them with purple gems, they're not going to be a good deal. So just keep that in mind. They have to be white gem exclusive for that opportunity to, to pop up. But yeah, hopefully that gives you some ideas on some ways to make some money. And there'll be a lot of other ways that turn up. 